my dear students a warm welcome to eduara i am navnita ghosh your maths expert now we will discuss about the frequency distribution table the objective of statistical interpretation is to organize data into a concise form so that the interpretation and analysis become easy it is for this reason that we organize larger data into a table called a frequency distribution table a table showing the frequency of various observation is called frequency distribution table or frequency table let's see an example in a garment shop on a particular day the following sizes of shirts were sold make the frequency distribution table solution here minimum size is 32 and maximum size is 44 we will make three columns one for the observations that is the shirt sizes the second one is for tally mark and the third column is for frequency so in the first column we will write 32 34 36 38 40 42 44 44 and we will write the corresponding tally marks as 32 1 2 34 1 2 3 36 1 2 3 4 38 1 2 3 4 5 40 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 42 1 2 3 4 5 6 44 1 2 3 so number of shirts or the frequencies are 2 3 4 5 7 6 and 3 as we know that mean is not the only measure of central tendency or the only form of representative value for different requirements from the data other measures of central tendencies are used let's take an example suppose a shopkeeper wants to buy his stock of shirts for a festive season how does he decide the number of shirts of different sizes here the owner is concerned about the number of shirts of different sizes sold in the past he needs to decide the shirt size that is sold the most this is another representative value for the data let he finds the highest number of shirts sold is of size say 90 cm this representative value is called the mode of the data so the mode of a set of observations is the observation that occurs most number of time or most often 